Shannon, the Emmys are this Sunday, and we're actually going to the rehearsal tomorrow. I am so excited, and I've also never seen Game of Thrones, but I know they're going to sweep again. Well, I binged Ozark all summer, so I'm rooting for Jason Bateman. Well, we have Brandon Lance Garnsey in our entertainment center. Brandon, will you be watching this weekend? Personally, I will not be watching in protest of Big Little Lies being robbed of their Emmy nomination. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm your entertainment host, Brandon Lance Garnsey. Well, Gianna, you will have to finish binging Friends and The Office before they get snatched off of Netflix in 2021. You should have plenty of time, and you will also have plenty of new content like Seinfeld, which the streaming service bought for over $5 million. Saturday Night Live is also getting rid of something, a cast member. Just four days after being hired, comedian Shane Gillis has been fired due to homophobic and racist, racist jokes that resurfaced online. SNL stated that they were not aware of his words, calling them, quote, offensive, hurtful, and unacceptable. Gillis says he apologizes to anyone who was offended and tweets, I'm a comedian that was funny enough to get SNL. That cannot be taken away. Anyway, the show must go on. SNL will premiere its 45th season on September 28th, with two new cast members, one being the first Chinese-American in the show's history. Maybe Gillis should try out for The Bachelor. He may need help finding love after those tweets. But he's going to have to wait until after this season, because we already have a new Bachelor, Peter Weber. Most Bachelor fans know him as the second runner-up from last season of The Bachelorette, while others know him as Delta Airlines at Pilot Pete on Instagram. Fans are buzzing, but some are criticizing ABC for their lack of diversity. Weber has been chosen over fellow contestant Mike Johnson, who would have been the show's very first African-American Bachelor. However, the show's summer spin-off, Bachelor in Paradise, is making waves with their very first same-sex couple proposal this week. No, you're not. Christian Paige Haggerty. Will you marry me? Of course I will. We love leading ladies on the screen, just like Jenny from The Block, who's now headed into the Best Supporting Actress race after her performance in Hustlers. Front hook. Ankle hook. Knee hook. Come here, you can do the carousel. Just switch and wrap. The film grossed over 30 million at the box office this weekend and put an end to doubts about JLo's acting career. The film also stars Lily Reinhart and Constance Wu, with appearances by Cardi B and Lizzo. They may film in the same studio lot, but they absolutely have different opinions on fat shaming. Bill Maher and James Corden took shots at each other on their own talk shows. During the monologue, Maher says that fat is good and that fat shaming doesn't need to end saying it needs to make a comeback because some amounts of shame is good. James Corden then took to his show, The Late Late Show, to respond. Fat shaming is just bullying. That's what it is, it's bullying. <laughs> and bullying only makes the problem worse, okay? I don't think stuff like this is gonna solve the obesity epidemic. It's not just about being able to see a doctor, it's also about being able to see your I mean, I won't speak for you guys, but I know I will always be on James's side. Now, controversial is one word to describe the Raid Area 51 Facebook page created over the summer. Remember that? Well, today is the planned day to raid Nevada. It may now have turned into a dangerous movement. The federal government has made it very clear that trespassers of Area 51 boundaries will be taken seriously, saying the Air Force may have to intervene. Crazy. The Facebook event had almost 2 million RSVPs. Chapman News does not endorse the idea of going, but I mean, if you do, please make a viral video about it and send it our way. Have fun. I'm definitely hoping to see some viral TikToks from the raid. The newest app is taking over social media one scroll at a time. 
Let's be real, TikTok seemed really like a joke at first, but now everyone is obsessed. I know I am. A TikTok star was even born right here at Chapman. Fellow entertainment producer Gianna Gravelisi met with TikToker Cooper Scott to see what it's all about. Ready? Three, two, one. I always used to make short videos, like just more for my friends, I guess. I'd like send them to whoever I thought would think they were funny. Slowly, TikTok kind of blew up in my area and just in general, I kind of saw TikTok as an opportunity to just kind of get my stuff out there more. And then I realized once I had like a decent following, I was like, hey, I could actually do something with this. I think of TikTok as more of a, like a platform to push off into the next stage of like my life. I think social media in general could be a huge uniting factor for the entire world because there's certain things that everybody can, can connect on on a very fundamental level and I feel like social media has the way to reach everybody to bring people together in that way. Listen, it's been real, you guys. But you know what I wish really wasn't real? Sean Spicer's outfit on Dancing with the Stars. <sighs> Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the latest in entertainment. I'm Brandon Lance Garnsey for Chapman News. Back to you guys at the desk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we are looking at TikTok. <laughs> Don't miss an episode of Chapman News. Follow our YouTube channel at chapmannews.tv and social media accounts at Chapman News. I'm Gianna Gravelisi. And I'm Shannon Demixo. Have a great weekend, Panthers. And remember, pause up. <laughs>